Welcome back. The Ministry of Information, Communica Communication Technology and Lifeline Child London may be assigned an MOU on cybersecurity awareness and public education. Now, this partnership will focus on providing cybersecurity education to the public with a special emphasis on children through initiatives by Lifeline Childline Namibia. To tell us more on this MOU, Shoki Kanjimi, the Ministry's Senior Public Relations Officer, joins us for this uh, development. Very good afternoon to you, Shoki, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon, Jonas, and good afternoon to your uh, viewers. Thank you so much for having me. Much obliged, Shoki. Firstly, perhaps, can you just uh, talk to us about the key objectives of the MOU and how MICT and Lifeline Childline came to the conclusion of saying, look, let's work together to address the issue? Well, just to take you quickly back, uh, just is that uh, in 2022, um, we launched the National Cybersecurity Strategy and our awareness creation plan um, just to sensitize the public on how they can keep themselves safe on our digital platforms. And this uh, then uh, this is where we really came on and really called on stakeholders to come in and join us and in, in ensuring that this uh, strategy is fully implemented. Many would know we do not have a cyber crime um, act yet, so we thought um, really this strategy, as we are busy with the with the bill, the cyber crime bill, would perhaps uh, work on this uh, strategy just to entice and also encourage our people to uh, keep themselves on uh, safe online. So we decided to really reach out to different partners, so one of them being South Essential. And now today we find an MOU with um, Lifeline Childline Namibia um, because, of course, one of our pillars is, is really dedicated to, um, uh, you know, educating children on how to keep themselves safe, how to report um, cyber bullying and, and, and all of that. So really that's the whole uh, um, aim why we have an MOU, MOU rather with um, Childline Lifeline today. Right. Uh, now, in my intro, I did mention that there's going to be special emphasis on children. Uh, what have been the trends in terms of uh, cybersecurity and the crimes that are being committed in on the cyberspace that made uh, the you know, government uh, realize that, look, we really need to address the issue? Yes. No, very well, uh, Jonas. Uh, many would know that um, uh, we have advanced in terms of technology in our country. Um, nowadays, you would find a child is, is younger as five years old already being able to use a smartphone or so. So they're actually using uh, the di different di digital platforms. So from the issues that we have uh, seen also that are being reported to the police, uh, who are also our close partners, is that many of these children are being abused online. Uh, they're being forced to share naked pictures of themselves and all this. And then they are basically threatened, uh, in other words, cyber bullied. And, and all that. So this is where it came about for us to really uh, craft strategies, craft policies, craft laws to really protect children when they are online. Because, um, you know, some of them are exploited. I think you've also seen uh, people in our court being sentenced due to some of these um, uh, related cases. So as a government, we took it upon ourselves to say, look, we don't have an act really that speaks to cybercrime yet. But we need to come up with a strategy that can at least educate our people in the meantime, especially children. And, and this one is really dedicated to children. And, and then that's why we came up with uh, this strategy uh, to come up with key messages that will educate children when someone, a stranger, approaches them online, for instance, to share their personal information or to share pictures of themselves. This is what they need to do. So that's really the purpose of us having this um, cyber security awareness um, strategy and, cre and um, creation plan, just for them to uh, to know how to protect themselves on the right. side. Now, Shoki, uh, of course, this is a new initiative. Uh, talk to us about how you know government, together with uh, Childline, uh, Lifeline, Childline Namibia, are going to go about you know educating the public about this new initiative. And as you rightfully mentioned, like even five-year-olds now have access. Uh, to digital devices, and some of them have even mastered it better than, you know, some of us who are, you know, digitally challenged. Uh, talk to us about that. Yes, no, definitely, um, Jonas, of course, the ministry has already started rolling out um, different um, uh, um, educative uh, videos, uh, sessions online, even for adults. We have one every Friday between 10 and, and 11 o'clock uh, covering different uh, cybersecurity-related topics. 
But of course, the one we see now that we are that we are uh, going to roll out um, Startline Lifeline is is that we are going to schools now because they have a good footprint also um, on ground with uh, different stakeholders such as UNICEF to really just go uh, to different schools, different regions to just tell them about the importance of uh, cyber safety um, and how they can keep themselves safe. So also, Childline has a good um, radio station called Untani Radio, really dedicated to children. We also want to exploit that platform because that's where children on different radio stations, such as the National Radio, are really making time to listen to Untani Radio uh, just to hear what is uh, the topic of the day. So we wanted to use some of those interventions just to just get the messages across to children in, in a unique way because we're also looking at using cartoons. We are looking at unique ways to just get to them and, and and also just educate them so that really once they are online, they are safe and sound. Uh, lastly, Shoki, how can the public get involved or access uh, these educational resources uh, that you alluded to earlier on? Yes. Of course, you can either reach out to um, the Ministry of Information. Um, we have a dedicated website. We are also in the coming um, uh, eighth National ICT Summit. We're going to launch a cybersecurity uh, dedicated website uh, that will speak to that. But of course, there's also a portal on on on, on the Chartline Lifeline uh, website where you can basically go and um, report some of these um, online abuses for children. It's really dedicated. You can go there anonymously. You can report incidents related to that. Of course, uh, you can also check out the Ministry of Information and Communication Technologies um, social media platform.